Hey everybody, it's Angela and I am back with a collective haul video and these are, well, purchases I've made probably since my last haul, so a couple months probably and um, most of them are Tuesday morning. There are a couple that are Michaels and one cherry on top order and so I'll start with Tuesday morning. I was able to get the Polka Dot Party Dear Lizzie collection and I know that this is really old but um, I have never had this and I love it. I think I love every paper that's in here. I mean, yeah, I just love this. And so I never did have a chance to work with it. I have seen other people use it when it first came out, but it's just gorgeous. So I was so glad to uh, be able to get some to work with. So just a lot of beautiful designs. It's so my style right now, I think. Um, so yeah, so I got this one. And the only other paper I got it Tuesday morning was um, this Everyday. And it's a Jen Hatfield paper. And um, I really liked the bright colors. Let me zoom in here. Bright colors on this got some citrus which I don't have any I don't have many of the collections with citrus so I'm starting to get a few of those um, I got this lemon pineapple and I want to use them for some of my travel layouts there's anchors I love this map print love 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 that I'd love that in it 12 by 12 wood grain some words and yeah, I just thought, you know, a really usable um, paper pad, really bright, summery color. So I went ahead and picked that up. So those were the only papers that I got at Tuesday morning. I got a bunch of their dies. Um, these are some of the Doris uh, 99 cent dies. This is the floral one. I normally probably wouldn't have gotten this. Um, but because it was 99 cents, I know I can go ahead and make this. And I think maybe adding the layers and putting some stitching on this would be really cute. So for 99 cents, I thought I'd go ahead and put it in my uh, die cutting stash. Um, I also did this snowflake, um, which I thought was really cute. And I only have one other um, snowflake this size. Um, so I was fine adding that to my collection. I got this one. I really like this one because it has both the stars, and I do have quite a few stars in my collection already, um, but uh, the film strip and the ticket I thought were really cute. So I went ahead and got picked that one up for 99 cents as well. And I think, oh wait, and the garden trellis was also 99 cents. So you just really can't you can't beat that price so I went ahead and picked those up and then I got some other of the these um what is it Downton Abbey which is a crafters companion die which I believe is a British um, manufacturer and um, I would love this big panel this big intricate panel and I just thought it would make a great layering piece um, I like that it's square and I can cut around in it and yeah I thought that was really pretty I don't have anything at all like that in my collection I got this ornate circle and I do have some doily dies but I like the fact that this had the outer cuts the outer shape then it does this inner shape and then it gives you a whole bunch of circle dies too for $6.99 so I thought that was a good price for the amount of dies that you're getting and it's a nice size um, for cards or to do a couple on a layout. I also got the corner die cuts. So they look like that. And I only have one other um, corner die in my collection. So this will be good to go with that. And I think lastly is this bow. I thought that was really cute. It's got all this lacy bits on the bottom, which is different from any bow that I already have in my stash. So for $2.99, I went ahead 
and pick that up. So these are all my dies and I like that they're a tool that I can use over and over again. So that was cool. Let's see here. I was able to find some pebbles, these um, kind of 4th of July themed embellishments. I thought those were really cute. I don't have the paper for this, but I have the little, um, the like uh, Project Lifestyle cards for this collection, I believe. So I can go ahead and put this with my other 4th of July stuff. I got these um, Jolie's Boutique little uh, layered hearts and I really like the colors of this. I liked it in conjunction with these cute little unicorns. And for $1.49, um, these are like fabric and they're stitched. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. You can see that. They've got green stitching around them and they're made out of a fabric and they're just really intricate. So for $1.49, that's not something I could really make myself. And unicorns are so popular right now. I thought this would be good to do on a page um, for each of my granddaughters so that they would each have a page with a unicorn on it. And I thought that the hearts went really well um, with the unicorns. It has kind of the purple, the orange, the blue, and the green um, in both of them. So I think I'll probably do a grandbaby layout with these. I could also pair these puffy stickers that I found and I got two of them. These are from We Are Memory Keeper. And again, it's got kind of the bright pink, the orange, the blue, and the green. And I thought they were really cute. I have a soft spot for puffy stickers. And then I also got this Amy Tangerine one. Which I thought was cute and I do not think I have this. I think I have one of her other ones. So I got that. Um, I also picked up for 49 cents these uh, Life's Little Occasions and I'm not familiar with this company but um, I like these kind of, it's got some layered labels and then it's got some puffy stickers and they're all like pumpkins and gourds and we're um, just planted a bunch of pumpkins and gourds in the garden so I know I'll probably be doing a fall layout on those so I know I can use them so for 49 cents I went ahead and picked them up and then I also picked up these little Jolie's um, they're little felt masks and I love this raccoon one because my grandson dressed up as a raccoon for Halloween last year so I would love to use that on his layout for that. I don't know about the other two but I'm sure with the grandkids I'll be able to use the other two at some point. I also found the Cool Kid um, embellishment pack and I would love to find more of this collection. This is really cool. I don't even remember seeing this when it first came out but I've seen other people using it and I'm like ah so I may have to look and see if I can find more of it because it's really cool. See, I got a stamp, which is this one. I liked it mostly for the compass. The skull and crossbones is cute for like Halloween. X marks the spot. Well, I don't know if I would ever use that one, but I like these two. And I might for one of the boys' pages, you know, who knows? They might do some kind of pirate themed costume or party or something at some point that I'll be able to use it. Um, I also got these pebbles chips. And these are the ones that are kind of um, kind of farm themed. So it's got like the chickens, the apple pie, a rolling pin, kind of farmhouse peas, strawberries, carrots, canning jars. So I knew I could totally get some use out of this because this is the type of thing I um, scrapbook about a lot anyway. So I went ahead and picked that, it was $1.49. And then I went ahead and got the Chamel stamp, the noted today, it's just like a little journaling stamp and then it has some travel icons you can add in this little square here if you want to. And I just thought it was really cute and for 99 cents I went ahead and picked it up. 
And last, oh, no, wait. I got this wooden stamp. And um, yeah, this is totally accepted. I, I'm not sure I've ever come back in 10 minutes. I think I'm still out there. But um, yeah, I really like this one. I thought that was cute. I picked that up. And then I also got one of these bags, these Ranger bags. I think it's for putting your paintbrushes in. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put in it. Um, for right now, I put in all the bottles of Distress Stain. Now, I found all these different colors at my local Tuesday morning. So I was like in Distress Ink um, heaven. So I didn't even bother. Um, they were $1.49 a piece. And um, I know I might have a couple duplicates in there. Um, but any duplicate that I have, I will take to my little craft space I have down at the farm and um, use them there because I don't have any inks there. So um, yeah, so I just went ahead and picked these up for that price. Um, you can use them for splatters, you can use them for the packaging technique, you can use them for watercolor painting. Um, yeah, so I really um, like these, so I went ahead and picked up all the different colors that they had. And then I got one of the Little Bee Punches, and it's this lace. Now I have a um, one of these Downton Abbey lace dies, but it's only about this big and it's hard to line it up for 12 by 12. So I really like the lace design on this and I thought for doing a 12 by 12 strip this would come in more handy. I try not to buy too many of these bulky punches anymore. I try to always um, buy these thinner die cuts just for storage purposes, but I, I really like this pattern. So I went ahead and picked that up. The only thing I've gotten at the store lately was um, I went to Michael's and they had these Tropical Collection on sale and so I went ahead and picked up um, what, four pieces of that and I just really liked it. Now I've spent a lot of time in Nicaragua so I was thinking of using some of this for the Nicaragua pictures because I like the jungle theme stuff. They didn't have really pineapples in Nicaragua, but I have been to Hawaii so I might be able to use it for that or for a drink, going out for drinks or pina coladas or something, you know. But yeah, all the rest of these jungly type things I can totally use. Flamingos, I don't know if I can use that, what I'd use that on, but I really like that. And so then I picked up the uh, coordinating ephemera pieces. It's got more of those and flowers. Then these clear stickers. And it looks like there's a couple sheets of each. So I thought those were, were really cute. It's kind of hard to see there. Sorry about that. And then these, um, the sticker book. So, which is kind of cute. It's got photo corners, tags, alphas, just theme stickers, kind of florally things, some icon stickers, which are kind of more planner based, but I'd probably use them for vacation photos, drinks, So yeah, I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to put this in some of my, um, with my travel stuff for when I do my Nicaragua photos. So that's where those are going to go. And then the last thing I got was an order from a cherry on top. And let's see here. For the small stuff. I got the ephemera pack from Happiness is Homemade and this is an Echo Park and it's kind of a kitchen themed collection. There 
you go. And it's really cute. I love the colors, the bright, crisp colors, and the kitchen themed. And then I got these because I'm trying to build up some of my word dies. And they were having a sale on all their die cuts, so I went ahead and got these. I like these because they're connected. So it'll cut all as one word. Um, then staying in the kitchen theme, I got the Carpe Diem sticker book that is also cooking themed, food themed. It's just really cute. There's just a lot of stickers in here too. Little icons. Word stickers. Labels. Yeah. So I love that. And then I also See, the last small item was a stencil, and I got a beach stencil, which is seashells and stuff for some beach theme layouts. That that was really cute. That's by Kaiser Craft. And then I got a few papers. Let me zoom back out. I got the Happiness is Homemade Collection Pack. So um, that goes with the ephemera that I got. So it has all these different sticker sheets in here that are so, so cute. And then all these different papers. So I really, I'm just really in love with this color combination. So that's kitchen and I think the last kitchen item I got was, oh, and I got an extra sheet of the Happiness is Homemade, the recipe cards. It has a wood grain on the back, but I got it for more recipe cards, so if I make a mini, I can use the collection pack and these as tags. And then I also got the um, Authentic Saucy paper pad. And this is just really cute, very retro. Let's see. So it's got one with words on the back on a wood grain, and then kitchen utensils on the front. Looks like there's three sheets of each. a bunch of aprons. Oh, that's cute. And all the strawberries. Cute yellow pattern. And the floral. Just teapots and this green, the little tiny white floral on it. A white with polka dots and a bunch of cut apart cards with some recipe cards at the top and more cut apart cards and kind of that vintage retro style so that is that and then just a few random for my travel um, layouts, just a few random map prints. I love map prints. So I got this one, which is the Go See Explore by Echo Park. And it's got this compass points on the back. Of course, I got it for the map. This map of North America that's still got um, Central America and Nicaragua in there. And this is called Let's Cruise by Cartabella. It's got some. 
I got this map print. This is also Cartabella Transatlantic Travel. Kind of a gray on black. Very cool. Back has this graphic print. I got this vintage map. This is also Transatlantic Travel by Cartabella. Very kind of grungy. They're each a very different style. My travel I, uh, album's gonna look, each layout's gonna look completely different. And this text on the back. So those are the random map prints that I got. And that is it. That is everything I've been purchasing lately. And um, yeah, so I can't wait to get in here and play with some of this stuff. And so excited by the prices of things. I mean, you know, 99 cent dies and 49 cent embellishments. And yeah, there's just been a bunch of good sales and blowouts lately. I just couldn't pass up you know how inexpensive they were so um, I went ahead and added them to my stash so thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you again later bye